Hello, all of you beautiful people. Welcome back to the Pokéton YouTube channel. A lot of you wanted my ASMR voice back. Well, today I am here to provide just that. I'm here to read your comments in my beautiful ASMR voice. Please consider subscribing and hitting that like button and notification bell. Follow Pokétom on all of his social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and DeviantArt in the description down below. And with that out of the way, let's get started here right now. Honestly, I'm charmed, but you're not getting any Doritos from me, Blixer. I've met dense people before, but you make a neutron star seem about as dense as a graphene aerogel. Thoughts slide on your brain like skipped stones sliding smoothly on water. Before you criticize someone, you should walk a mile in their shoes. That way, when you criticize them, you're a mile away from them, and you have their shoes. That's actually really clever, and I like that. Blixer, I'm coming for your boots. I need assistance with something. Another version of Lycan is trying to shove a ring pop in my face and throw it in the general direction of whomever is nearest. I have no clue what this means. You people are so weird. Stop posting about Among Us. Friendship is magic. The immortal sign of the Illuminati is impossible to destroy. They all thought I was out of the game, but I hold all the cards now. Right now, I'm in a state of mind. I want to be in, like, all the time. I finally have the artifact. Something so stupid that it's funny. Okay. I've never seen two pretty best friends. Always one of them has to be ugly. Is that what you wanted? Are you happy with yourself? I hope you are. Being the only classy and sensible one has its downsides, and most of them are mainly about Blixer. I cannot stress how true this comment truly is. Being the only sensible one for miles does get infuriating at times. Bold of you to assume I'm not a cipher. You want me to read you a bedtime story. 
Okay, I shall read you the story of the ugly barnacle. Once there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. Blixer, I hereby request you to cease your tormenting addiction of consuming flavored triangle-shaped tortilla chips. As your addiction is highly irritating, annoying, time-consuming, and downright stupid. And to my disappointment, it very much upsets Rafe. So cease your endless consuming of these said triangles, or I shall perform acts of severe violence on you in about five seconds. You, absolutely nobody, have the intelligence to last a lifetime, and I very much appreciate this very structurally thought out paragraph of words. You, my friend, have talent. For as many people I've met, you are by far the best. Have a lovely day, and thanks for your company. I assume that was directly for you. And I just want to say, I hope you have a lovely day. No, 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 no. That's not what I want to hear. Why don't you sit right there, and you'll now give me the information that I require. I'm not going to snort like a pig. I have class. You want some motivational words about... Don't give up, try your hardest, and in the words of Pokéton, never do something for money. Do it to prove everyone in your life that said you couldn't do it wrong. If you let my brother go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you, I will not pursue you, but if you don't, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will kill you. (laughs) Is that what you want? My laugh, it's hard to do, very quietly. Blixer, I've got a joke for you. What do you call a caveman's fart? A blast from the past. That was by far one of the worst jokes I've ever heard. A four out of ten on my scale. The ocean is a soup. You people truly are disgraceful. Summer sizzles slightly like Sally Susie. It's free real estate. And for our final quest, we are going to read a little chapter of my childhood, a nice nostalgic trip down memory lane.
When I was a young Dorito, my mother used to walk me to the beach almost every day. We'd walk along the shoreline, feeling the rush of cool water run across our feet. Back then, I was scared of the waves, and I did whatever I could to avoid touching them. However, when I held my mother's hand, she made me feel so safe and so calm. With that, I was able to walk with her while she enjoyed the water. She loved to collect shells. Every once in a while, she would come across a nice one that was large and in good condition. She would bring it. She would bring it home and put it on a clear shelf or an empty cabinet, wherever she could find room. I was convinced that if she kept it up, our house would have been filled with shells, calm sh- clam shells, hermit shells. Sea urchin shells, marek shells, scallop shells. I could imagine it being difficult to wander around the house if that were the case. I miss those moments with her, though we barely talked on those walks, and yet I still felt a great connection with her. When Rave was born, I sought to recreate the moments me and our mother shared. I wanted him to experience the calming atmosphere that the beach provided for me when I was when I was younger. <laughs> the first time I brought Rave to the beach was when he was finally getting the hang of walking. He was so young. He was so Innocent, pure. I held his hand so that he wouldn't fall, and we walked from our house all the way to the water. His eyes grew bigger the closer we got to the water, and once he touched it, he instantly fell in love. The amount of joy and excitement he expressed once he was familiar with the path. Once he made it to the water, he ran alongside the waves and occasionally went for a quick swim. It was adorable to see his eyes light up at the sight of a new object. Many times he would rush to it and bring it back to show me. He found many things that he treated like priceless valuables that, like some small shells, seaweed, driftwood, oddly shaped rocks, and some little sea creatures. One day, me and Rave were walking along the shoreline, and uh, he spotted something laying in the sand. At first, I thought it looked like a squid, but upon closer inspection, Rave assured me that it was a jellyfish. I mean, it looked like it got washed up somehow on the shore, and was at the brink of death. Rave looked at me, silently pleading for me to help it, somehow. I told him there was nothing we could do about it, that we should leave it alone so uh, to not get stung by it. But Rave put on a very determined face and quickly scooped up the jellyfish before I could stop him. (laughs) At first I panicked, expecting Rave to yell and scream from the potentially terrible pain that he would be feeling for the critter, but I was shocked to see him calm and silent. He was carefully holding the jellyfish with his eyes closed, as if he was focusing his energy on it. The jellyfish's original color began to darken to the point that it was nearly black. Then, Rave's eyes opened and stared at the jellyfish with anticipation. I started wondering about the result as well. Then, suddenly, it awoke and sprung into the air. It was actually flying. It flew around us, bouncing off the air with excitement. It then poked my brother's head as if thanking him for giving him new life. 
I was in absolute disbelief. I mean, what had just occurred? My younger brother just brought a jellyfish back to life. And not only that its color changed, it gained the ability to fly. How many people can say that they've seen that? It was astonishing. And that was when I knew that, that there's something incredibly special about Wraith. And when we came home, not only did we arrive with a new pet that Rave decided to name to Squishy. <laughs> Classic Rave, always coming up with the silliest little names. We also discovered Rave's new special powers. From then on, well, Rave and Squishy have been practically inseparable. I think about it every day. It's just astonishing what he's managed to accomplish in the short span that his life has been. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this calming ASMR video. Be sure to subscribe to Poketon. Follow him on his social medias in the description down below. And thank you so much to Afro Thunder for making this incredible art for the thumbnail. It's beautiful. I love it so much. And with that, thank you for listening to my voice. Good night. Sleep tight. And don't let the bed bugs.